Hi everyone, this is Deekshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about uh, force unlock command in Terraform. So this command basically is used for to unlock a uh, state of a particular configuration. So that means like, let's say uh, you have some, uh, a couple of people, like five to six people are working on the same project, same um, infrastructure. So what, they, what happens is like sometimes like one person like acquired a lock on a, your Terraform configuration file. So other person uh, won't be able to execute whatever the changes that he made. So that means it can be many, many reasons like uh, one person uh, executed Terraform apply. So it will ask you uh, to enter the prompt, right? Like uh, whether to create or no. Like if you give iPhone, iPhone auto opto, so it will be, uh, the infrastructure will be created without any uh, uh, prompt. So if you don't give that uh, option, so it will ask you to enter S. So then only it will be created. So to, to see this scenario, so what I'll do is I'll take two uh, uh, windows wherein I'll execute Terraform apply. So it will be uh, prompted me to enter S or no. So when I leave there itself, so the lock will be acquired by that one. Okay. So in that case, uh, so other people, when, when they try to uh, execute whatever the commands like Terraform apply, and if they want to update the configurations of any infrastructure which is already been created, it won't be happened. Like it'll, it'll say like uh, the lock has been acquired by someone else. So that time what we need to do is, uh, we don't know who has, a, who has acquired. So, so that's the, that time what we can do is we can manually unlock uh, that state file lock. Okay, so that, that we can see in this particular um, uh, video. So let, let me go on to uh, my mission. So I'm on my mission. So uh, I have taken a very simple uh, file for this. So when I do cat and main.tf, so as you can see, uh, I've given AWS, the reason is US East one, and I'm just configuring my backend. So backend is S3 and my bucket name, and the key of uh, my backend file name is satiraform.tf, and the region is US East one, and I'm giving DynamoDB a table, so this DynamoDB table will have a logs of my particular uh, Terraform state file. And my state file is not local because I've just configured my backend as S3. So my state files will be present in this particular bucket. And also I'm just creating a EC2 instance uh, with a mandatory fields, that's it. So nothing, I've not customized anything. So whatever the mandatory fields uh, uh, is required for AWS instance to create, I'm just giving those two things. So now what I'll do is, um, I'll just execute Terraform apply. So when I do this one, so as you can see, it will ask me, it will prompt me to say yes or no. Okay, so as you can see, if, if I say yes, so then it will be created. Okay, so now what I'll do is, so as I've created a backend.tf and uh, the lock, locking methodology as well. So it will create a lock in my DynamoDB. So now, so assume like, uh, so this is developer one, so who has executed Terraform Play and uh, he forgot to give S, he, he started working on some other task. And in the same time, the developer two is, is trying to do Terraform Play. So when I do Terraform Play, so in my case, I'm just taking a different uh, prompts, that's it. Uh, but in the actual scenario, it can be assumed as developer one and developer two. So when I do a Terraform apply here, so it says like lock, uh, error acquiring the state lock. So that means somebody is already executing some uh, something. Okay, so that's why the lock has been applied on this particular state file. Okay, it's fine like you can wait for uh, five to 10 minutes, but if it is taking too much time. So let's say assume like uh, developer one is in leave, like he executed this and uh, he went on and is is on leave for a couple of days. So then that particular lock will be, uh, it will be there itself. Okay. So that time what, what you need to do is uh, you can, you need to manually unlock it. So that is, that is where uh, we will use this particular uh, force unlock command. So wherein we can take that unlock, uh, we can take off that lock thing by using this particular command. So first thing what we need to do is we need to go to DynamoDB. So whatever the um, uh, uh, DynamoDB we have given. So now, as you can see, so one, one record is there, which acquired a lock. As you can see, this is this particular record. Uh, so is acquired a lock. So now what I need to do is I need to take this ID. This ID is very important for me. Okay, so when I copy this ID, so we need to use the command uh, Terraform 
फोर्स अनलॉक फोर्स अनलॉक एंड देन वी टू गिव द आई डी सो वेन आई डू दिस वन सो इट विल गो नॉट डिलीट दैट लॉक ओके सो इट 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 इज आस्किंग मी टू एंटर द प्रॉम सो यू कैन सी नाउ दराफॉर्म स्टेट एज स्टेट एज बीन सक्सेसफुली अनलॉक्ड now if i apply terraform apply so it will it will ask me to like now i don't get error uh, so uh, as like that uh, the state file has been acquired the lock so now when i give s so whatever the things that i want to create it will going to create it in my aws console so this is what so whenever you want to manually unlock uh, so your uh, dynamic db the, the lock on your state file so this is how you need to do so hope it it was helpful so if you like the video please share subscribe and have a good day